had a chance to look at four different parts kits here. We've got a, a Mahdi kit from Egypt, a Bulgarian kit that's a 74 with polymer furniture, another Bulgarian kit that's a 74 with wood furniture, and then a Yugo uh, in 762 by 39 uh, with some of the uh, characteristics of the Yugo kits. So since we have all four of them here to uh, compare and contrast, let's take a look at them with its ergonomics. So that's the under folder and for lots of reasons people will either love it or hate it. Then you've got your standard stocks, wood uh, originally, then they move to the polymer. Uh, it fits into the receiver, like you mentioned, into the channel. Both of them are exactly the same. The polymer fits into the channel the same way. This could be your skin. Uh, so then uh, they're secured by two screws. Once that rear trunnion is secured to the, to the uh, receiver, those two screws and that interface with the channel, that stock is not coming out. Uh, the polymers are hollow for one, pretty strong, and a uh, little thinner. They both got lightning cuts. A lot of people say that so when you grab a 74 versus a AK-47, you know what you're grabbing by the stock. You know that what ammo this one's gonna need, in other words. Uh, the slings are in the same place. They both have cleaning kits in the back. Parts kits almost never come with cleaning kits. And I don't think anybody opens the bag. I think they just pull them out before they ever put them together. I haven't found too many parts kits that have cleaning kits in them. Sometimes they're in the this thing, but not very often. Coming forward from this, oh, and then the stock on the uh, Mahdi is unique. I mentioned it before, it's a crutch style. It's a side folding to the right, instead of some of the modern stuff folds to the left on an AK. It folds to the right. It's just this very solid steel rod that's welded to a little nug here. Uh, for whatever reason, it's not dropping down, being released from the rest of the gun. It probably needs something to pressure, I can't remember. This one's a little complicated, nowhere near as bad as an underfolder. But I'm pretty sure it's this. It needs to have something pushing against it for the thing to, for the spring to push on. But anyway, it would slide to the right, and it it climbs right in next to the selector and gives you more ability to use the selector, even though it's on the right side, and doesn't interfere at all with optics rails and accessory rails on the left side, like an under folder can do, and all of the left side folders. The best you can do with a left side folder is have a recess where it, you know, kind of folds over the accessory rail. With an Egyptian crutch, you can drop it to the right and have something on the accessory rail if that's the way you run. These are super strong and comfortable on the back, um, and they're painted on top of park from what I understand. So, fairly unique. Uh, this is a great example. A lot of them are out there are horrible, like they've been through war or something and just beat up. This is a pretty nice looking example of one. There's lots of other stock examples. We'll do another series. Uh, looking back at the stocks examples but going forward if we take the receiver there going forward we're going to get to the pistol grip I guess next. So pistol grips are something that some people dig, some people could care less, some people are fascinated by them, some people again could care less about these things. Um, they're different materials, different shapes, different uh, eras. So if we take a look at the modern and the earlier Bulgarian, and I might be missing a couple of other things, but those are getting beyond the realm of parts kits and beyond the realm of the differences and similarities between these parts kits. So I hope you've enjoyed this tour. These parts kits are going to auction, so uh, I had to do this one before they left us, but hopefully they'll pay a bunch of bills off and we'll get back on the road and experience more of our gun community out there. So if you have any questions, let us know. We did take quite a few pictures of these and uh, we can potentially answer some questions uh, through those pictures or uh, other examples out there. We do appreciate your time and as always, thank you for watching. GearWebsites.com is your source for firearms-based playing cards and books. We also have mugs, shirts, and posters with designs that we've made live. Of course, we have patches. Every Friday is Free Patch Friday. We appreciate your support. Thank you for shopping at GearWebsites.com. Thank you for supporting our projects. If you'd like to buy us a cup of coffee, check out our Patreon channel. The guys and gals at GunWebsites.com.
encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thank you for watching GunWebsites.com. Do 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 do.